good morning. This may be the cheeriest good morning you have today, but I am sincerely wishing you a good morning and hope you have a wonderful day as you again walk with the Lord throughout the journey of life. I know that uh, we have in our home each every first and third Thursday nights of the month a little group that we call Pray, and it just simply is parents reclaiming a youngster. And in the year 2000, I decided Satan wasn't going to get my family, and we're going to pray and hold on to, the, to God for the salvation of our children and of our grandchildren. And so in our 15th year now, I guess, we've been meeting first and third Thursdays and praying for our families and remembering the families and the needs of our friends as well. I know many of you Facebook friends have asked an interest in our prayers, and I want to assure you that we don't take your requests lightly. We do take it to the Lord, and we try to pray and hold on to God with you for the answer that we like to see. Now, I shared in our little prayer group last night from Psalm number 102, and in the Bible that I used, it was a, a prayer of the overwhelmed. And it goes like this, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. Well, you know, I was thinking about some of the things that go on in our lives among our circle of friends and family. And I think sometimes that life can be quite overwhelming. Now, the heading in the Bible that I'm reading from now for our devotional is the prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and poureth out his complaint before the Lord. Only today I've had two very urgent prayer needs presented to me. We've been made aware of some that are in desperate need of a miracle if their life is going to uh, be spared and if they're going to go on living a productive life. And I know that our hearts go out, you know, sometimes we get so consumed with the needs in our family, and yet it's true, you can look around and find somebody else that has a greater need, regardless of the heavy burden that you're carrying, you can generally find someone with a heavier burden, and I've found that to be true, two different instances today. One I'm not terribly well acquainted with, but it's relatives of a very valuable parishioners, and our heart does go out to this family in their time of distress and affliction. Another has to do with the family in our own congregation here at the Lighthouse Chapel, having received unwelcome news, news that is devastating if we look at it from the human standpoint. And I think about how oftentimes that which we hear that we dread to hear so bad Concerning physical affliction, physical problems, it leads us to being overwhelmed. And that's when we want to cry unto the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Lord, listen to what I have to say is what we're saying. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. We want a quick assurance that God has heard our prayer. We want a quick assurance that God knows all about the situation that we face. And while we may be a little bit disappointed in that this has happened in our family, while we may be a little uh, distressed because uh, within our circle of friends there are those that are facing troublesome days because of affliction of loved ones. Yet I want to say that God knows all about it and even though sometimes we, we are so distressed and so downcast, uh, yet I believe that we can know that God is there to hear our prayer. And the last verse and the last words of this chapter that we shared the first two verses is that, uh, i got to turn the page here, that uh, but thou art the same. And thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue, and their seed shall be established before thee. So life goes on, and with God's help and with God's uh, strength, we face with courage, 
whatever the overwhelming circumstances of life may be. You may be facing uh, overwhelming circumstances. There may be a situation in your life that has you deeply distressed. Uh, I can assure you God knows all about it and God's got us covered and God makes no mistakes. He doeth all things well. Heavenly Father, help us to be able to trust you during the distressing times of life, those times that our soul is overwhelmed with the problems that we have. Lord, may we know how to look to thee and to put our faith and our trust in you that there might be an abiding peace in our heart. Do be with these that we mentioned here on our devotional today. You know these families, Lord, that are faced with the dreaded sickness that, that no one wants. We pray, Lord, that you'll just be with them, strengthen and encourage their hearts. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.